In this clip, we will talk about how to use statistical procedures. We will use the Analyze menu, we will choose variables, and we will make choices with the sub dialog box buttons. For this clip, we will use the text survey data that is already opened. Most statistical analysis is performed by selecting procedures from the Analyze menu, which is available from many active windows. We will go to Descriptive Statistics and Frequencies. This will open the Frequencies dialog box. On the left side is the source variable list, and only the variables listed here are the ones available for this procedure. On the right side is the target variable list, which contains selected variables, those variables that we will use for analysis. There are several ways to select a variable. You can click to highlight the variable you want to select, and click the arrow to move it to the target list. If you want to select multiple variables that are consecutive, click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and select the last one of the group. Then click the arrow to move it to the target list. If you want to select multiple variables that are not consecutive, click on the first one, hold down the control key, and click on the others. Then click on the arrow to move them to the target list. In the main dialog box, we are given the option to display frequency tables. By default, they are displayed. I have the option to not display these. However, if I click on this without selecting any other output, I am given a warning. The dialog box has several buttons. There is a Move It button for moving variables between lists, five control buttons at the bottom, and three sub-dialog box buttons along the side. The Help button will open a separate window that displays information on the frequencies procedure. Now I will close this to go back to the main dialog box. Cancel will close out the window without doing any analysis. Reset removes the variables from the target variable list and restores all settings back to the default. Paste will write the code to a syntax window and wait to do the analysis. OK will close the dialog box and run the analysis in the output window. The three buttons on the side will open sub-dialog boxes. Statistics has additional selections and its own Help Control button. Once selections are made, click Continue to go back to the main dialog box. The default setting in Charts is None, so if you need a chart, you must select the appropriate one and click Continue to go back to the main dialog box. Format lets you select the order of the variables and how some output is displayed. When you have the format chosen, click Continue. When all selections are made, you can click OK to run the procedure. Now you know how to use statistical procedures to analyze your data.